Hello everyone, this is going to be a little tour of the spreadsheet application on Google Docs for a couple of reasons. Specifically, doing matrix multiplication and for doing dynamic looking at data using a motion uh, gadget. So those are the two specifically also because it's free. And it's a uh, a good platform to share on so I'm going to create a new right now a, a new spreadsheet and I'm going to first show just the basics of matrix multiplication if you remember before in other videos or if not I'm going to just going to do a transformation in this case I'm not even going to trans I'm going to transform moving everything by 10 X 10 Y 10 Z remember we start 1 0 0 0 0, 1, 0, 0. We're always building a transformation matrices. I would matrix I would always recommend starting from scratch and then making your changes. It keeps it more organized. Though of course you can do what you want once you manage learn to manage these things. If you remember here, what we have now, I'm gonna go ahead and change my rows a little bit and my columns so it can looks a little bit more normal. You tend to colorize it name it whatever you're gonna do so right there you have a matrix I'm now gonna put my W shape if you think about it it was minus 20 10 0 1 we always hold that placeholder with 1 minus 10 minus 5 0 0 I'm sorry 1 0 0 0 1, 12, minus 6, 0, 0, 22, 12, 0, 0. Now, of course, if you remember, the reason why we do not make it symmetrical is so we can actually see it when something changes. And all I'm going to show you now is how you multiply matrices. Really easy in this program, really hard somehow in... Uh, Excel. They, it, it requires a chord. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and we're just going to highlight an area. First I'm going to change for my transformation. Remember we change, we can change the 10 in the X, 10 in the Y, and I'll leave 0 in the Z there. You would think that you could just do this by addition, but it's all done by multiplication. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to highlight the area to where I want to put my answer and if I'm multiplying a 4 by 4 by a 4 by 5 I will get a 4 by 5 1 2 3 4 5 and then the command is simple E equals matrix multiply you highlight the first array hit a comma highlight the second array hit an enter and you get the answer there you go if you notice we, we're moving everything by 10 in the positive x so we notice there how it all worked so that's matrix multiplication I'm gonna go and just grab a new sheet I'm just gonna actually just go ahead and erase this one up oh, I guess I won't cancel don't wanna do that I'm gonna go ahead and file new new spreadsheet and we'll show you the motion builder and the motion builder relies on, it's a motion gadget. It relies on the first name being the name, the second name being the time, the third X, the third Y, and then you can add four or five other columns. I'm just going to do it really quickly here. The name will be left one, left one, left one mid one mid one mid one I don't know I'm putting a one there but right one right one right one so the first is a name the second is time but the time has to be in years believe it or not there's some history to this and I'll point out so this basically would be your station if you're going down the road so 1901 and we'll call it 1902. It needs to have a format that looks something like years. 
don't necessarily know exactly why they haven't changed that and maybe they have but it works because you're just doing a one-to-one -one correspondence between your data or station or something else or time and a kind of a time and a year format this is because this program was learnt was done based on um, looking at data sets for poverty data over time and I will link you all to Ted to see that uh, that video alright so here we go the left was gonna be maybe 9 is 20 and 10 at the start and then it was minus 20 minus 18 and 8 and then it was minus 16 and 6 in other words we're going down in elevation if this is the y and the left is staying actually is kind of coming in if you would this is kind of compacting getting more compact it's not going out from minus 20 it's going out to minus 16 the mid we're gonna keep at 0 0 and 0 but in fact instead of starting at 10 we're gonna be get somewhere at 4 2 and 0 that's your elevation and the right will begin at 20 we're going to go out the other side 25 and 30 and our elevation will go up 10 12 14 now all you got to realize is you could add elevate you could add some other data going out here but the first is the name the second is the time and now what you do is you insert a gadget it's a gadget. This may need to be an old version of Google Docs. You have an ability to choose from one or the other. It's the motion chart. Add to spreadsheet. You grab your range from A1 to D10 or A2 to D10. So A2, D10. Notice that perhaps some of these delimiters are different. In this case, it took it. You notice the sheet uses a exclamation point, but we're going to apply and close. We'll see what we get. And there you have it. Realize this doesn't seem like much, but when you've got big, long cross sections or lots of other data, you can kind of drive down the road. And here we go. I'll drive down the road. Here's what happens over time. Kind of hard to see much, but they, basically that information is, is, is moving without really any input from me. Try it again. There you go. You kind of get that idea of moving up and down, left and right. You can change all kinds of stuff. Interesting that this does not always work. I think this works best in Google Chrome, I would presume. But that data format is the second reason this motion chart is the second reason to use Google Docs. It's not exclusive, but learning to use programs that are free like Google Docs, uh, GeoGebra, Wolfram Alpha, uh, or relatively sh free like Geometer Sketchpad or th and things like that will definitely tend to build a portfolio for you that you're going to apply to other things. So we'll take a look at how we can kind of transfer data from design software like AutoCAD Civil 3D or SketchUp or Inventor into something like this to kind of have a, a nice, interesting, neutral format to look at motion over time. All right. All right. There it is. Matrix multiplication and um, Google Docs motion chart all in 10 minutes. Your calculator will do some of the stuff as well, but for now we're going to be looking at using software now or once you finish up with the Excel portion of your work in the Microsoft Office class. Thanks for listening. Have a great week.